Hey, hey, hey. Welcome everybody to Miss Glow's Kitchen where the sugar, spice, and everything nice where we slice, dice, and entice using everything we can from peppers to allspice. What's up my people? Y'all know what time it is? See y'all in the kitchen. A sweet cold strawberry daiquiri is on our menu today. Very quickly, here's what we need to make those strawberry daiquiris. You need the Bacardi strawberry daiquiri mix, ice, Bacardi rum, or some kind of rum. I'm going to use strawberry puree, whipped topping, and you need a cup and a straw. All right, so if you haven't hit like or subscribe already, before we get started, do that. Hit that share button and hit that bell for notifications. Y'all know what I always say. Ain't nothing to do but to do it, so let's get to it. All right, so add your two cans to the blender, and after you add your two cans to the blender, you're going to add how much rum. So if you're a lightweight, then you're going to add about a half a can to a can. Um, if you want a really strong rum taste, you're going to add about a can. So it's up to you. So right now I'm going to add about three quarters of a can. I'm not going to make this really, really strong today, but if you want to make it really strong, listen to me. <laughs> Add as much rum as you want to add and then add ice accordingly. All right, so that's a little bit of strawberry puree. That is optional. You don't necessarily have to have that puree. That is optional. All right, so I'm going to start putting our ice in here. And look, we're about a couple minutes away from a daiquiri. Trust me on that one. Let me tell you that. And a great daiquiri at that. All right, so I'm not going to tell you how much ice because you're going to see that I'm going to keep adding ice until I get it to the thickest consistency. So if you like a thinner daiquiri, don't add as much ice you know once you check it so once you blend it this first time don't add any more ice if you don't want it really thick like sort of like that slushy that slushiness but if you want it sort of like a slushy then you're going to check it after this you're going to open that top right there you're going to put some more ice in there until you get it to that consistency that you want it to all right doesn't take that long you can hit blend puree any one of these buttons will do it for you all right so see how it's moving that's kind of too much that's too thin for me so that's too much liquid, so I'm going to put more ice in it just to make mine thicker. But again, as I said, if you don't want yours thicker, don't do that. This is this is, this is is fine. All right, so I like mine sort of thick, sort of like a slushy. So I'm going to keep adding ice and keep adding ice until I get it where I want to get it. All right, and so that's what you do too. You just keep adding ice until you get it where you want to get it. If your blender gets too full, I'll tell you what, take a measuring cup or something to take a cup of this daiquiri mix out and then just keep putting your ice in there. So that's the quick fix for that if your blender um, overflows or gets too full here. All right, so now you can see I decided to add some more, some bigger pieces of ice for me. That's my preference. You don't have to do that. All right, so I'm going to get it as thick as we can get it right here. And it's on after this. It's on, honey, because you can smell the rum. I'm telling you, you can smell it. So I use that Bacardi strawberry daiquiri mix, which is usually found. It's non-alcoholic before you add the alcohol. So you'll find it where probably where the, the breakfast juice, the orange juice, the, uh, the grape juice, the lime juice, the frozen cans of juice. Probably where you'll find it at. Okay, so now I'm looking at it. I open the top. I'm shaking it, looking at the consistency of it. So I'm thinking, because it's really hot. <laughs> Now, I'm working with this on a really hot day. So, I'm looking at the consistency like, nah, I need this a little thicker. Because already when I'm drinking it, you know, it's probably going to melt down a little bit, which is cool. But, you know, I'm just saying. All right. So, as I was saying, I used the, uh, the Bacardi mix out of the can. Then I used Bacardi rum. But if you have another type of rum you want to use, do that. That's perfectly fine. It's okay to do that. All right. So, any kind of rum is fine. Just so long as you're doing um, your daiquiri, just do it with a rum. I recommend it. I have done it with vodkas before, but I just find I get the best daiquiris with rum. So, <laughs> but you can use whatever you want to use. I'm telling you. <laughs> All right. So check this out. So once I see it like frozen on the outside of my blender like that, see I'm wiping it off right there. But once I see it frozen on the outside, I pretty much know that. Um, so you can see it like on the right side by the handle right there. You see where it's freezing on the outside of it. Yes, that's what we want to see because that's when we know we got a really slushy cold drink in that blender. Best believe that. So check that out. All right, that's cool. So I let it go a little bit. So the next thing we're going to do now is I'm going to taste it. So I'm going to make sure the flavor is there. So I got that strawberry flavor. I got that rum in there. We already know it's cold and slushy. So we just want to make sure we got strong flavors. Perfect. I'm pouring. <laughs> I am pouring, baby. 
All right, so check this out. Use whatever kind of cup you got. A, you got a cute little glass or something you want to put it in. But I'm telling you, I put it in a plastic cup because it's hot as hell today. I put it in a plastic cup. So I'm going to speed this up really quickly. I'm going to show you how to do it with one can. And I use snowball ice. So I use crushed ice in here instead of the ice cube. So very quickly, I'm going to go through this and you're going to see. You're going to see this thing is going to fill up as much as it filled up with the two cans so i'm going to show you and that is the purpose of putting that strawberry puree in there along with that rum so that you make sure you keep your strawberry flavor in there and then you keep a strong rum flavor as well so this ice oh man this ice is like a dream so if i had a preference of which ice i wanted to use it would definitely be uh this crushed ice instead of the ice cubes this one works much much better i love it so all right so you're going to get it you're going to do the same thing same thing we did in the first part i'm going to blend this up really really quickly and then let it go until you get it to the consistency you want but you'll find with this crushed ice you're going to get it to a slushy consistency faster a hell of a lot faster i don't know why but it is so that you get it there a lot faster so that's cool all right, so when you do this, you want to make sure you taste it. So as soon as you taste it, you're good to go. Taste it, adjust it. If you need to put more strawberry puree, you need to put more rum, do that. And so after that, you can see hmm, we're ready to pour. Now what I did do, you can see it on the pictures, I put some whipped cream on the top. I love whipped cream on the top of my daiquiris. So check this out. I'm going to try to explain to you really quickly so it depends on what kind of cup so you can see I use the same kind of cup put the whipped cream on the top really pretty but in the beginning you can see I had cups right there which mind you I want to tell you I got them from Amazon too so I got those from Amazon with the dome lids with the big hole that you can put the um, the straw down in let me just show you so see what I mean I got the cups with the dome lids but the only thing about that is when you put the whipped cream down in there, then it looks like that. So it's, you're not necessarily going to look as pretty. But that's that. naturally, you know with daiquiris, you can leave the whipped cream off if you want to. So you can use this in all kinds of cups. You want to use those little margarita glasses or, you know, something a little taller. So it just depends. And then if you want to, you can do little daiquiri shooters. So think about it. If you have a party, especially when it's hot outside, you want to pass them around. You don't want them to melt too quickly. You can use those little shot glasses or those little shooter glasses. And you can fill them up with this daiquiri great party idea i'm telling you once again if you haven't hit like or subscribe hit it hit that share button hit that bell for notifications so you'll be one of the first ones to know when i put up a new video all the time and guess what <laughs> it's so dear to my heart thanks for watching y'all see y'all next time and this daiquiri was so good as always i appreciate you hit that like subscribe and share thank you